I'm delighted to be able to congratulate you on what was a stunning election victory. From the start, Theresa May has tried to get close to Donald Trump. Remember the hand-holding at the White House. But it's never been easy, and it just got worse. After Downing Street condemned his retweeting of a fringe British far-right group, the president hit back overnight. He posted this directly, as he thought, to the Prime Minister. Don't focus on me, focus on the destructive radical Islamic terrorism that is taking place within the United Kingdom. We are doing just fine. In fact, he tweeted the wrong Theresa May, but the sentiment was clear. A long-term relationship on the economy. The correct Theresa May is on the last day of a visit to the Middle East, today in Jordan, where she met the king and set out her thoughts on how to make progress in the region. But everyone was waiting for her response to the president. The fact that we work together does not mean that we're afraid to say uh, when we think the United States have got it wrong and to be very clear with them. And I'm very clear that retweeting from Britain first was the wrong thing to do. I've made my uh, position clear on the tweets uh, that I've seen from President Trump, but let me be clear about the relationship between the United Kingdom and the United States. This is a long-term special relationship that we have. It's an enduring relationship that is there because it is in both our national interests for that relationship to be there. So here Theresa May was prepared to say that the retweeting of those far-right messages by the president was wrong, but she wouldn't engage with his apparent criticism of her, preferring instead to stress the importance of the relationship between the UK and the US. Perhaps that's not surprising. Urgent questions. Back home, outrage over the president's remarks provoked an urgent question in Parliament. This is the President of the United States sharing with millions inflammatory and divisive content. By sharing it, he is either a racist, incompetent or unthinking, or all three. Theresa May confirmed President Trump is still invited for a full state visit like this one by the Chinese President. And that would include meeting the Queen, but she also made it clear no date had been set. An invitation for a state visit has been extended and has been accepted. We have yet to set a date. British governments have always worked hard at what London certainly likes to call the special relationship. With this president, it's proving to be hard work, just keeping it civil. Andy Bell, 5 News, with the Prime Minister in Jordan.